Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. You're still stepping in it. I saw Sister Act 2 in the early 2000s. Woo! We had a time last night. One thing about Latin music is it's gonna get you moving. Whenever I'm out, or if I'm looking at a microwave, or the gas prices, or whatever, I see angel numbers. It could be like the back of somebody's license plate, or you know, on somebody's whatever. You know, I just see angel numbers. Either if it's two 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 five five five, you know, it's like okay. And I always feel like that that is a message for me, or you know, the moment. So. Angel numbers are fine with me. And with Ashe, our collection, we're doing angel numbers, and so everything is a coincidence or it's irony when I just see angel numbers all over me. It just seems like it's divine. Who is out here spending 777 on gas? That's an angel number. But uh, yeah, no, I ain't doing it. It's not happening. No, downtown crazy. Well, I'm excited. You know, this is my this is my second culture. I feel like you know I'm Mexican on the low ball. Shout out to my guy Papa. Growing up in LA, you know, the Mexican culture is like it makes up what Los Angeles is. To be honest, I've just always been around like just a lot of uh, Mexican because you know my godfather was Mexican, my godbrother. No matter what neighborhood, whether if it was black, there was always a mixture of both. So it's like you grow, you have friends that's Mexican, and I'm, I'm very specific with that because I'm not, you know, there's different cultures and stuff, but. I think Mexi Mexican culture makes up a lot of LA. You know, my godfather was Mexican, rest in peace, and my godbrother. And I just remember growing up, I mean, we would, every single day, I would be with Berto and my, before my dad would come pick me up. And so we spent a lot of time together and his wife would make the best salsa from scratch. And it, I just still remember it. And it was just so long ago, I was like, six seven and his wife oh my god she used to have the best salsa and she would make it from scratch but she um rarely spoke spoke english so she would always speak spanish and when you're around it you kind of start to learn it even though you can't talk it you start to understand it and so i just uh i i feel very close to the mexican culture in some kind of way tony maria i mean they family I mean, I think that's a common denominator with the islands and then like living in LA, you're around a lot of Mexican, they're all family oriented, just like us.
tacos. Okay, real simple. But let it be some like homemade, like the tortilla just came fresh out. That is like no comparison. You taste the difference in it. But yeah, you can't go wrong with taco. I love it down here. It's so pretty. It's so much culture. You can just feel the culture, like when you're down here. Look at that little hat. Oh. is so exciting to me because it really shows this like beautiful side of death. Death in the Aztec Mexican culture is viewed as the beginning of the cycle of seasons of life. You know, this really means a lot to me because I've been battling with this fear of death. And whenever I have an acid reflux flare up, I get really scared because I'm worried that I might die before my time, you know? I love that death is looked at as this beautiful part of life instead of um, anything scary in this culture. And uh, that's why it really means a lot to me to be here and to celebrate the Day of the Dead Festival. No me Welcome back. Welcome back. 